Hello guys, how you doing? Just recently I made a video where I put a giant gummy bear in dehydrator for 7 days and the results were pretty crazy. So in today's video I decided to see what happens if you put a watermelon into dehydrator for 7 days. And as you guys know the watermelon mostly consists of water. So my hope is after 7 days this watermelon will be completely dry. I have frankly no idea what might happen to this watermelon in dehydrator. So I'm gonna put it like this and wait for 7 days. Okay, I'm gonna set it for the longest time and for the highest temperature. There you go. All right, day number seven. Look at that. I think it actually changed color. Look at this. So it became a little bit lighter, I think. Oh, check this out. It's probably a bad spot here. I don't know, it feels lighter, I think. Not sure. Well, let's get it inside, cut it open and see what happens. And you guys can see the difference between these two watermelons. This one before I dehydrated it was almost the same color as this one. This one's actually fresh. I bought it yesterday. So look at difference in colors. And I think weight-wise, they're almost the same weight. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but these are a lot of wrinkles over here. On this side especially and some of this side as well, right here. And look at this black spot. It's not soft, actually. And in general, this watermelon is not too soft. I thought it's gonna be way softer, actually. So I'm gonna cut it open and see what's inside of it. Well, let's check it out. All right, look at that. There's still wet inside, I'm very surprised. And it smells pretty much like a watermelon. Nothing different. Let me also cut a fresh one and we will compare. I'm not very good watermelon cutter, that's for sure. All right, there you go. Look at this one. And here's the comparison, look at this. This one is the one that was in the dehydrator and this one is the fresh one, look at that. I'm kind of surprised, this one looks way brighter than this one. It's kind of crazy. And here's that dark spot. I thought it's gonna be rotten, but no, not really, look at that. Well, I'm gonna try, how does it taste? And I will compare it to the fresh one as well. I can even feel, you know, the way it cut, this one cuts and this one. Looks like the skin in this one is, is softer than this one. Sweet? Oh, this one is not sweet. That's interesting because this one is actually tastes way better and sweeter than this one. I wonder if some of the water evaporated and it made this watermelon actually sweeter than the normal one. I can taste the difference for sure. Where is that black spot? Oh, right here. Let me try it with the black spot. Really good. I don't know, this one is just not as sweet and it actually looks way darker than this one. And you would think this would be way sweeter than this one, but no, it's actually opposite. Well, I guess now we know what happens if you put a watermelon in dehydrator for seven days. It actually becomes sweeter. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. And since watermelon consistently, cons cons and it made it actually sweeter than, than and it actually, and it, oh.